Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in your corner of the world. We're going to get right into an article in regards to Davos 2020, and now they will have the impressive list of speakers and how Ripple CEO may also join. This article is from yesterday, but it has a great list of who is going to be the attendee and guest at Davos <clears throat> for their 50 year anniversary. Give me a moment to enlarge this screen. I'm just gonna zoom in just a tad bit right there for you. Make it easier if you're watching on your mobile phone. Um, so let's dive right in guys. Today, the business leaders and politicians from around the globe are meeting at another session of the World Economic Forum, the WEF in Davos, Switzerland. This is the 50th anniversary of the event with a theme, Stakeholders for a Cohesive and Sustainable World. The annual economic gathering will run from January 21 until January 24. United Kingdom Prime Minister Boris Johnson will not attend the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Downing Street said on Monday. Johnson asserted that his government should focus on delivering for the people of the UK instead of meeting global leaders in Davos. On the other hand, United States President Donald Trump told reporters in Washington last week that he will go to the World Economic Forum in Davos. He added that he has been invited and plans to meet world and business leaders at the forum. French economy minister Bruno Le Maire said on Monday that he hopes that he, the conflict with the United States over France's digital tax will be resolved before the end of the week. We are ready to make steps toward the United States and we have already proposed a certain number of measures. We hope to reach a resolution by Wednesday, Le Maire told LCI Television and added the two sides will hold further talks on the issue during the World Economic Forum WEF in Davos. Be it as it may, there were some unconfirmed talks about Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse having a meeting with Donald Trump and the European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde. Since Lagarde had already said the ECB wants to play an active role in cryptocurrencies, claiming the ECB should be ahead of the curve when it comes to CBDCs, we can only hope for her to open the crypto doors. However, there are Little chances that Lagarde will support the adoption of XRP. This year, she is definitely more interested in the promotion of the digital euro concept than in cryptos themselves. Among other Davos guests, there will be Sanna Marin from Finland, the world's youngest serving prime minister. Sanna heads a four-party coalition government whose leaders are all women, too. At the time of her appointment, in December, she said she never thought about her age or gender. I think of the reasons I got into politics and those things for which we have won the trust of the electorate, she said. There will be also Ursula von der Leyen, as well as already mentioned Christine Lagarde, the 17-year-old Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, Thunberg will also attend as well as Ren Zengfi, Huawei Technologies founder, presenting the IMF's latest economic assessment, will be Kristalina Georgieva, managing director of the IMF. And there will also be an internationally acclaimed actress and mental health ambassador, Deepika Padukone, Bollywood star. Padukone will get one of the WEF's Crystal Awards. We, of course, cannot forget Steven Mnuchin, the U.S. Treasury Secretary, as well as George Soros, Chairman of Soros Fund Management. The next article was the World Economic Forum 2020 at Davos can see talks on crypto, CBDC, and stablecoins. And as earlier on our Twitter page, we did play some of the clips from the U.S. President Donald Trump, and we did discuss the CBDCs and the stable coins um, from the Davos uh, Economic Forum from earlier today. Getting into this article, unlike last year, this 
year's World Economic Forum will see leaders from the crypto space speaking on the future of the global payments industry. Thus, we are likely to hear more about cryptocurrency, stablecoins, and central bank digital currencies, also known as CBDCs, which they have successfully tested and tried down in Cambodia, according to the BIS, um, the king himself, Augustine. Starting right off into the article, it says starting today, January 21st, the annual World Economic Forum 2020 is kicking off in Davos, Switzerland, with global leaders seen participating. Like always, this will be a four-day event going up to January 24th. This year's WEF 2020's theme is Stakeholders for a Cohesive and Sustainable World. Like every year, global leaders will speak on issues of the global economy, and wider participation of countries for overall sustainable growth. Besides, there will be also talks on avoiding trade conflicts and friction among the 193 members nation. And as in the speech today, there was actually a lot of discussion among the conflict and the discussion of would it even be possibility for them to even agree on a digital asset. Their personal opinion in that event was highly unlikely, but they were willing to give it a try and listen. Finishing up, it's also additional and pressing issues like climate change, and there was a lot of talk of that. Clean environment, healthy future, etc. shall be on the radar. UK's recently appointed Prime Minister Boris Johnson may not come to the event, but US President Donald Trump did join the forum with other dignitaries. Environmental activist Greta Thunberg, who has recently been in the limelight, will also be a guest at the event. However, they are expecting that the most interesting thing the leaders will um, and economists will, will discuss is crypto and CBDCs and stablecoins during the WEF 2020 meeting at Davos. And they did get into it today, and hopefully it'll get a little deeper. Honestly, I had no expectations as the swell was a little disappointing as far as the end result, but it's great to have these things because overall it's just part of the timeline. So we're excited as investors to see if this will do any kind of a, a positive rise um, or a productive positive rise from XRP and see if it climbs at all from this event. Hopefully. To me, I actually got a lot of information that I was interested in seeing. Um, but again, doing all the research, it may not have meant anything to anyone else. All right, here we go. Some of the key leaders from the crypto industry will also be part of the event, either as attendees or speakers. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse is said to attend the event. And I think we're kind of now doubling up on the previous article, but it was a difference, so I wanted to get into some of it. Also, Circle CEO Jeremy Allaire will be seen talking in a session named Shaping the Future of Financial and Monetary Systems. Moreover, in a word with Coindesk, Hilaire also said that he will touch down and promote the concept of stablecoins. There is another public speaking panel dedicated to creating a credible and trusted digital currency. This panel will be discussing the importance of digital currencies in the modern financial systems. The panel will key areas of reducing risk while simultaneously streamlining global payments and settlements. The dignitaries at the panel included Facebook's blockchain head, David Marcus. Thus, it is most likely we will hear a word or two about Facebook's Libra cryptocurrency. And the uh, part of the convention that I saw earlier today, yes, it was discussed. There is no hidden fact that even central banks across, across the globe on several central bank digital currency CBDC projects, China's central bank PBOC has already accelerated work on its CBDC project, and we might see a digital yuan ahead this year. Last year in 2019, there was heavy criticism for cryptocurrencies in the WEF event. However, there have been interesting new developments in the crypto space with global organizations and governments participating in it. In addition to cryptocurrencies, there will also be an informed decision on the use of blockchain technology and its applications across different business verticals. All right, that's it, guys. I just wanted to give a little heads up because someone had mentioned earlier in the previous video for a little more detail, 
and this was the only thing I had available to share. I pulled up the first thing on the internet to, and made it easy for you to find it here on our channel. Always trying to do our best to get all of the work done for you to simplify it and make your life as an investor much more simple and a little easier. All right, guys, this was not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. Wishing you the best of days until the next one.